Hello, good folks. It's the True Vapor Show. And, yeah, we're live. So, uh, we are going to be down one member today. Uh, Mr. Zach is taking care of some personal family business up north, so he will not be joining us today. So, you get to stare at our poor ugly mug. So, I'm going to take it down the line. So, starting off, take it away, Mark. Hey everybody, what's up? Mr. Vaping Fagan here this morning or afternoon, whatever you want to call it. I am vaping on the IPV5, right? Or no, I don't even know which one this is. Yeah, yeah. I think the 5, there we go. <laughs> uh, Ghost V2 RDA inside this bad boy. I got some of this uh, ice cream donut right there. And then I got the... The Rafagan on top of the Vapor Flask with some, uh, what is this? Mr. or Mrs. Custard de Leche for Mrs. Adore E-Liquid. And uh, that's it. I'm just rocking two devices this morning. Nice. All right. Next to him, we have Daryl. Hey. Hey, guys. Daryl Shergan. No, I did not get kicked off the True Vapor Show. Uh, <laughs> quest for Vape. This morning I'm vaping on my IPv4S with the Rafael hacked Vapen Fagan version. Pulled out the uh, the thing there. Like it that way. And then I also have the uh, Evic Mini with the Bellis tank. Nice. And next to him we have Daniel. Hello everybody. Good afternoon. <laughs> Good afternoon for me at least. Uh, today I'm I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm almost going to throw this into a wall, but I'm trying to do titanium temperature control <laughs> on the I sub S on top of the MX from the, the Vape MX or Vape MX mod or the mod from Vape MX. I, I, I'm not sure. Uh, it's, it's a lovely, nice. yeah. <laughs> It's VapeMX something, the more than the company, maybe, perhaps. Uh, <laughs> it's a it's a great device. I love the feeling. I love the the fact. Uh, well, Mark already revealed it, so uh, <laughs> I love the the leather covers. I love the size and how light it is. But yeah, uh, <laughs> next I'm vaping on the. A smoke TF4 Mini with a shorty conversion kit on top of this amazing 200 watts device, the Smoke R200. Uh, I'm also vaping on the Rafagan, thanks to Mark Vapenfagan, the Rafagan tank on top of the S, uh, the SMY SDNA 200 with the latest firmware. Now I'm actually adjusting in temperature and not in watts. And I can also select the materials on the device itself. I'm also vaping on this amazing RDA. For me, the best RDA of uh, RDA of all times, the Geek Vape um, Tsunami, on top of the Panzer, also with the new firmware on the DNA board. And finally, I'm also vaping on the uh, iJoy Reaper Plus. This one with the dual RBA deck on it, on top of the SX Mini ML Class. And I'm mostly vaping this Steamworks juice uh, called Jade, Jade Key. It's the juice I have on two of the tanks. And then I'm vaping the rest I have of Custard de Leche from Ador. I'm running out of this, this thing and I'm getting pissed. <laughs> and I'm also having my own DIY juice. This one is the Sweet Dreams. The... Uh, no. the it's uh, Sweet Dreams. Uh, yeah, I think it is. I don't remember the names I, I give to my juice. Yeah, wet Dreams, crazy. Wet Dreams, sorry. You got crazy names going on, but it's all good. All right, well, thanks, uh, Mike, I mean, Daniel, for that nice buffet yeah. there. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the show's only as four. Well, all right, folks, well, today I'm just on the Rafael with the shark, and, of course, you know what I'm doing, guys. I'm on my simple apparel. 
by Adore E-Liquid and go check out their new site. Uh, good stuff there. Definitely go check them out. Uh, and I'm also on the hot sig with the coral tank today, finishing up the last of my milkman that's been sitting here that I'm ready to get used up. So, uh, oh, excuse me, milkman, baby. Almost gone. So, keeping it simple. So, the show is on just today at 10 a.m., uh, strictly because everybody's kind of helped me out here a little bit. Uh, I've got a little vacation and some stuff i got to take care of for the next few days. So, uh, thanks for joining us on just this one-time deal. And also another announcement, and I will make it again before we get off here. Today, if you did not catch the event that has just been posted, me and Mark Fagan are going to do a live juice review at 11.30 a.m. So 30 minutes after we go off the air here, we're going to be right back on. Uh, it'll be on my channel, and we are going to do a collaborating juice review, so y'all definitely check that one out. I think y'all will enjoy that. So, what is happening, good people? Oh, gosh. I know what's happening. <laughs> <I'm afraid. laughs> Didn't that sound really good? It did yeah. sound good. I, the sound effects to it is awesome. Yeah. So. Now I, drink, I need to drink something, too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still working on coffee, so... Uh, oh, I see the Connellys out there. What's going on, Dwayne? I see you out there. What up, Connellys? Connellys. Oh, by the way, because we're, we'll are we just keep plugging the Connelly family in from here on out till the end of time. Uh, if, if you want to meet the Connellys, go to Detroit. They'll be there. So nobody else will matter, only the Connellys. So, so what's happening? Not a damn thing. Yeah, I know. It, it's, it's, uh, it's been a boring week so far. It has. Yeah, it's, nice. it's nice. Because finally. now I have time to catch up with the reviews. No. Well, <laughs> finally I actually get to start my show before Andrew's because Andrew would normally kind of get all the good stuff cranked and then we all have to follow off his lead and here it is. I'm kind of beaten into the game today. And I don't have anything just like major. You know, I know you've got the stage, and you ain't got nothing major. I don't have anything news breaking. And, uh, I'm excited about the the juice review we're going to do here after a while. That'll be pretty cool. But uh, I think Daryl seen something out in the news. He wanted to maybe throw up. Am I correct, Daryl? Yeah. Um, I don't know a whole lot of detail about it, but apparently, I think yesterday or recently, there was a uh, in Sweden their Supreme Court ruled on sort of like their deeming regulations, but for Europe and Sweden. Sweden, their Supreme Court ruled in favor of vaping that it would not be seen as a tobacco product and would not be regulated. Um, you know, all the shit that we're fighting against over here in the United States, they actually got a positive win in Sweden. So hopefully nice. we can somehow jump on that. Nice. Yeah, I don't have the details, but uh, if anybody comes up with a link for that, please, by all means, share it. I'd like to post that in my Facebook group. Yeah, I have been searching everywhere because I got the same, the same news this morning, and I have been searching all day for that, and I can't find anything. Anything. Like, you know, it's disappointing. What I didn't realize is that the whole economic, uh, the whole European, like they're they're kind of ruling on this as Europe not country by country, but then again, it is a battle country by country. And then I think yes. um, there's one juice company, Wicked Wix or something like that, uh, that really... Totally went, Wicked? Totally Wicked, that's the one. They, yeah, they actually went to court in a few different co countries on this. Yeah, but I, they have been losing. They need support. Uh, hopefully they don't keep losing. Yeah, hopefully. And, and I think the... The the huge petition we we had and we got over I think we got over sixty thousand signatures worldwide. I think it is helping in some way is helping um, some politics to 
to change their minds and actually see the vaping or starting to see the vaping industry as a different industry and not what they are formatted to to see yeah well we need some of that to drift over this way don't we they're, oh, they're, yeah. clo they're closer to the end there in Europe than we are over here um, that's I think I think uh, if Daniel gets caught vaping, he get he gets shot in Portugal, right? <laughs> <laughs> they have like yeah. fire on site. No, 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 because n no one will will be messing with me. <laughs> okay, with the Ripper, with the Ripper geek, no one is going to be messing. Damn. Uh, no, but basically, if if the customs come across with juice with nicotine, <laughs> I will pay the 60 cents per milliliter tax, uh, plus a few other taxes. Well, I think that's the reason why Dan was coming over to Detroit, because he's secretly going to defect over here. And, uh, <laughs> you know, he wants to be stashed out at our homes off and on, so... Daniel, I mean, you've got some options here. We'll hook you up, baby. So. Okay. He's defecting. <laughs> there is a, a new law that's going to happen in good old Illinois. Uh-oh. Everyone, everyone, well, of course, you're not supposed to vape if you're under 18, but uh, everyone found under 18 who's vaping with, or has an e-cigarette is going to be fined $25. Huh? The maximum penalty will be $100 and 30 hours of community service, which I think yeah. is a kind of a good thing. Well, it's, it's cheap. I, I was <laughs> yeah, going to agree with that. that. That is a good thing because, I mean, obviously you're not, you haven't been a smoker yet, or if you have, you haven't been doing it long. And, I mean, really, this is a tool for us to quit smoking. So um, it's, it's a hard thing to talk about. I, I have some part... A part of me thinks that, yeah, it doesn't make any sense someone with 18, 18 years old to start vaping or to quit smoking with 18 years old. Exactly. But there's other part of me that think, that think if they don't smoke it and they don't vape and they start vaping, it isn't better than start smoking. We all started smo smoking at some way. I started smoking with 13 years old, 14 years old. I was it's, 14 myself. It's strange, and, and it it's very strange to talk about that matter because I have mixed feelings about it. When I was a teenager, 25 bucks for me was a lot of money. So I don't know how it is nowadays with kids. You know, I don't know they're driving around in BMWs and shit, but you know, 25 <laughs> bucks just for walking around holding an e-cigarette, I get pissed off if I got a ticket. And plus, there's mm -hmm. another uh, there's another law for smoking. I forget what the fine is, but if you're found Flicking a cigarette butt on the ground, you're fine. I think a hundred bucks. Good. Wow. Yeah. Oh, shit. Good. So yeah. no more flicking your cigarette butts around Chicago. <laughs> <coughs> you have to clean the city up a little bit, huh? About damn time, shit. <laughs> the price well, for me when I was a teenager, if I got caught smoking, was an ass whooping. So twenty-five bucks is cheap. Yeah, really, <laughs> yeah. really. Well, you know, we were on. Um, uh, we were in a private room the other night or something like that. I forget, or in the G spot. Uh, and I know Daniel was in there, but Fluffy had found an ad or something that had happened in New York where a guy was vaping on an e cigarette, or I don't know what device he had, but the cops seen it. He was stopped and given a ticket for that. And it's like really, and the what supposedly the way it, it's worded out is that usage of an electronic device, use of an electronic device while operating a vehicle, which means you know I guess it fell into the category of like a cell phone or something like that. Really. And well, and speaking, of, I didn't even sit here and think. Hell, Daryl's in New York, so. Uh, yeah, but that's, that's not something that one specific police officer to the next would make a judgment call on, so they must have been given the green light on that. I know there is something about you can't smoke if you have kids in the car and you can't vape, and even if you have your vape thing visible, then it's endangering, like, 
a minor or something like that, and it, and it is a, an escalating penalty. But just vaping in the car, and, wow, I hadn't heard that. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. So, you know, I'm, I'm certain maybe somebody might try to fight that. I don't know if they win it or not. I don't know if they are going to try to fight it, but it just seems, man, that's uh, it's getting pretty stiff there. But That's a rough one. Oh, by the way, I also I, I already got pulled out three nights ago. Yes. But it was justified. I was vaping on this one. Oh, they thought you had yourself in? Yes. yes. I love that wallpaper. It, it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, but I shown them that it, it's a vap vaporizer and not a smartphone. And, and then they yeah. started shooting at you. <laughs> no, no, no. They, they, they thought it was interesting, but also crazy, and they, they left me go. Well, and that brought me to another point to think that that particular person in New York, uh, I'm wondering if he was on like a newer device and had a touch screen or something, it, it appeared to be a phone or whatever, so, you know, other just the act of driving and, you know, vaping, I mean, you really, something more was going on. I, I think there's more to the story than what's actually people know, you know, by reading it, but I don't know. I think you're right. I think he was driving, but he was he had the ohm wrecker, and he was trying to program in the coefficients <laughs> while he was driving. So if it was just a regular vape, it would have been fine, but they saw he was doing all that, and then that was yeah. way too advanced. <laughs> yeah. And, and, of course, we're not going to drive this one to the ground, but I do have to mention this. I noticed this morning when I got up looking at my uh, my subscriptions on YouTube that uh, Matt just put out his uh, video on the home wrecker. So I haven't had a chance to watch it, but I can only it's imagine. Fine. Oh, it is oh. fine? It's oh, fine because he doesn't say the, temperature, the Cantal temperature control works. He okay. says all the time, I think it works. He doesn't say it works, so it's fine. That's Matt <laughs> from Something Mind. Oh, okay. I didn't even realize he put one out. Yeah. I didn't even know he had it, but... I didn't either. But in the end, he basically tells that he, disco uh, he discovered a while ago stainless steel, just as any, any one of us, and what and he asks... He basically asks in the end, what's the point of doing temperature control on can tell with stainless steel these days yeah. and messing with those types of settings. It's not an easy device. Well, it seems like the fires have died down a little bit on that one, uh, mm -hmm. I'm assuming, but which I'm glad because I think we've all kind of... Uh, yeah, now, we've all out, out now, that, now that they're giving out free devices... <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> I mean, it, I wasn't going to say anything about the 20 I got coming, but that, that's another story. And I'm yeah. just kidding about that. I don't have any coming. But uh, I think they finally laid off Fagan a little bit by contacting him, I guess. Yep, I think they did. I told him I was, uh, I don't know, I just, yeah, I don't, <laughs> I'm just not even talking about it anymore. <laughs> I'm yeah. done. Sorry I brought it up. <laughs> <laughs> and there are amazing devices out there like the Vapamax that is providing me baby clouds uh, Dwayne wants to know if UL has contacted Mark yet and we do have a little funny story about this but I'm going to let him answer that first yeah their lawyers are actually in contact with my lawyers <laughs> and uh, we're, we're putting together something right now <laughs> and <Nicky>? hopefully yeah. <laughs> There will be a Refagan, there will be a Refagan takeout sometime uh, in mid 2016. Nice. <laughs> well, yeah. I thought I heard Enochian. You will. You will, yeah, you will. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. I told them I, I they're not going to press any kind of uh, charges or filing lawsuit as long as we. I don't know. I can't talk about it. They said. Yeah, yeah you're really <laughs> oh. going. You're really going to trip out if something like that happens. No, nothing's going to happen. <laughs> So they are actually pissed? No, I, I sent a link to my UL contact, and so did uh, ST, and they didn't say anything. They yeah. sent it to their boss, and then they said, okay, well, 
we'll let you know. Like, we'll contact you, and I haven't heard anything from them, so that's a good thing. It's yeah, just you, a, you avoided your warranty. <laughs> yeah. If anything, I avoided, I avoided. I told people to avoid their warranty on their uh, Rafael tank. No, it's actually, if you remove it my way, it's actually easy to place it back. Yeah. So. You, ta you oh, tapped yeah. it out with a screwdriver, right? Uh, oh, so you, you could actually yeah. put it back in there? Yes. Oh, my God. If Who you, the hell would put it back in there? If you haven't, the one I tried to twist, as you did, mm -hmm. no, it's completely screwed, that one. But the one I tapped and I removed, I carefully removed, if I get it starting and I tap the, the, the piece with something, it, it goes inside and gets stuck again. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, I've been actually using my Rafael tank like every day now. Yeah. Which is kind of weird. I like it now. I don't want to oh. say go out and buy one. I'm not going to say that. I'm just saying I like it now. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. Go out and buy one. <laughs> four packs of cigarettes. Yeah. That's what it costs, four packs of cigarettes. I, I look at Mark, thank you so much because uh, while you guys were talking about that last week, I did that on, on the two I'm using, and I, I fucking love it even more now. Yeah, the flavor is much better. I almost mangled my tank, though, trying to pull it out with needle nose, and I actually snapped the tip off the needle nose. That didn't work. And then I, and then <laughs> Daniel was like, oh, just do this with a screwdriver. And I was like, oh, tap, tap, tap. came out so easy. <laughs> you got to go from the inside of the tank out. I think yeah. there's like... There's like an inner little <laughs> ring that it presses up against, so you can't go down. you got to go up. Yep. Yeah. Like when I first started it, I used a screwdriver to kind of get things moving, and then I took my needle nose and I kind of pulled it out. Daniel's technique does work, but I did it the opposite way. I was hitting it against a desk, and I ended up snapping the chimney off. <laughs> oh, I did the same the first time. That's <laughs> why I recommend it on the video to do from the bottom to yeah. the top. But I, I broke the inner chimney. I think it was live. No, it was on the after the show, I think, last week. Uh, last as this show. Uh, I actually broke the the win the the chimney that is press fitted in into the base, but then I press fitted the the chimney back and it's fine so far. Nice. You know, just just make sure that you take uh, the glass tank portion and all that off before you do yeah. it because that did it and actually <laughs> broke his glass on his. Yes, so. yeah, the glass on it. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah, and be sure you wash the thing out after you do it because you don't want to inhale any metal fibers or anything. Mm -hmm. yep. I'm curious out in the chat. Uh, I'd like to see a show of hands. How many people out there in the chat that has the Rafael has actually done that to their tank? I'm curious to see. And what do you think about it now? Uh, all right, so we got somebody asking, how did you guys get companies' attention to start sending products to review? Just make videos. They'll, uh, if they they'll like them, they'll you. contact you. They'll find you. Yeah. They'll find you. Yeah. You can't contact them. They, you can, but they ignore you. So yeah. you know, that's yeah. to catch their attention. Keep doing videos. Do vi review everything you own and everything you get your hands on. Yeah. Grow a review, channel. Review what you already have. It's exactly. That's the way. Mark, you got a question out there from Wendy. How is uh, your DIY coming along? I haven't started it yet. Hopefully, I'm going to start it this weekend. But yeah, they sent me a whole boatload of flavors and all kinds of cool shit. I won't probably need half the stuff they sent, but they sent me a lot of flavors and some nicotine and everything. And Mr. Uh, Mr. Dear Addy out there in chat is going to help me out. Apparently, I got to get my little scale. That's the last yeah. thing I need to get. I got a scale, but it's not accurate enough. And once I get that going. Then my DIY journey will begin. My wife wants to start vaping, zero nick juice, so she can be my test dummy. Wow. Oh, shit. Yeah, so she wants me to give her a device so she can start trying out all the e-liquids. That's also cool for the fact that y you are always testing and using newer devices, and she can still be using the devices you already reviewed, and you can, you can then know which devices are last longer or not. Uh, sometimes I like to offer devices to friends because of that fact, because then they will report to me how bad or how well the device handled with time. Yeah, that would be so nice to have like a partner next to me that can like use the device with me or something. That would be so much easier. 
because I got like ten devices sitting on my desk right now that need to be reviewed, and I don't know how to use ten devices. <laughs> yeah, I have eleven. <laughs> I vape on a day. <laughs> so if I yeah, if I had someone sitting here, my wife or someone vaping, that'd be so much easier. If anybody lives like close to me and wants to like come by and use devices, Dang. come on by. Oh, you have come a separate on. room. <laughs> yeah. you can I'll use be there at four o'clock. Yeah. yeah, that's a little dangerous to do there. And if y'all haven't had a chance to see the DIY widget, just look above his head back there. He's got it all lined up on the shelf. Yeah, I know it's kind of dumb to have the flavors out in the open like that, but it looks cool. I like it like that. Yeah. So that's why I put them up there. And I have all my e liquid out here, so the light it doesn't. I don't have no sunlight in here. I just have like my light lights. And it's not usually this bright in here, so it should be fine. Man, they sent you quite a bit of flavorings there, it looks like. Yes, they did. I have my nicotine in the fridge. Nice. Make, and, make, uh, sure, make sure nobody's drinking it up. Oh, I, I put a, la a Gatorade label on it. <laughs> uh, it'll, it'll be perfectly sound. I just poured it into a Gatorade bottle and said, lemon line Gatorade. Oh, <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. Don't do that. <laughs> Yeah, I'm waiting to see chat light up now. <laughs> Pegasus is starting a war out <laughs> Oh, yeah. By the way, to... <laughs> sorry. Go ahead, By the way, anyone is already playing with the the newest Evolve firmware? No, no but I did see you mess with it the uh, other day. Is that the one you're referring to? Yep. Why don't you I'm give the folks? Why don't you give the folks a little uh, screen display there on what they're getting with the new update? And I'm gonna go ahead and s let me present oh, okay. you. So there you go. Daniel, I meant to ask you that the SDN the SMY DNA 200 you have. Did they send you a new one with all that, or you were able to do a, a new one update? Okay. No, they sent me a new one. Uh, they they asked me, uh, can you do the, the same thing we you did for us <laughs> on the device and review it and I, I I told them no I want to unbox the device and make sure it comes out of the package how it is coming to do the review because I don't I'm not gonna do a review based on something I think is gonna come out out of the box and they sent me a new one with all the profiles I did for so, them let's see that screen all right, all right. So, so you it's it's still a beta f uh, a beta version. If you decide to use it, use at your own risk. the The newest scribe with the newer firmware is already on my website. But again, use it at your own risk. So now, uh, with the newest firmware, you can decide to adjust in temperature on the main screen instead of what. You have beautiful nails, Daniel. Yeah, it's very uh, nice cuticles. Sometimes, sometimes I have. <laughs> what, what herbal supplement products have you been using that you have such nice thing? <laughs> sorry, sorry. Three sixty. Uh, -huh. uh, so now you can adjust in temperature. Of course, if you lock the device and you hold both up and down, you are going to be able to adjust the power you ha you want to have available. Okay, but on the main screen now you you can decide to adjust in temperature. Okay, just like that. And now on the device also, independent of the profiles you can set up, if you if you lock the device and you hold fire up and down, all the three buttons together, you can change the material on the device. And you can set up newer materials. The new eScribe software already comes with nickel, titanium and stainless steel materials, but you can also set up different materials and then you can select the material every time. Oh, I see that. I see that tungsten uh, setting. That, is that your setting? Yeah, it's my setting. It's my setting. But if you if you set up different materials, they will. Uh, you can send those different materials. You set it up to the device, and you can also select those materials directly on the device. Nice. Yep. Yeah. And it's, it's still in beta, so yet you, you can only only get it on your website, right? Uh, it's. I think it's already also on Evolve forums. Is it okay? I think the the early adopters forum. 
also have the, that version. It's still a beta, but so far I have had any problem. Yeah. And you can definitely go to Daniel's website and check that out. So I have so been loving. I think it's just how the DNA device should have come from the beginning. <laughs> yeah. So so. RTS vapes were the ones that sent me all this uh, DIY gear, and they sent me a bunch of glassware. When I got this, I just it kind of brought me back to my uh, like high school days, because I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do with it. Uh, but it, it reminds me of a bong. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a bong. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure there's probably some use for this thing when you're doing DIY, but it just, I don't know, it reminded me of a bong for some reason. Well, I, bong. Probably would be to uh, do your <laughs> adding the amount of liquid you need in there to make your mix. Oh my god! But you'll yeah, find better. You'll find a better purpose <laughs> for it. <laughs> Is that an Erlenmeyer flask? <laughs> well, the vape won't come out now. It's stuck. There it goes. Oh, there it goes. So I can just have, I can, like, during each review, I can fill up each of the pieces of glass with vape, and then in the background, there'll just be, like, vape coming out of the glass. It'll be awesome looking. <laughs> I think that was the point of it. Yeah. Folks, you say it doesn't take much to uh, keep us amused with things, so. <laughs> Hold on, let me try to get up there. Oh, uh, yeah. We've lost Mark for the rest of the show. <laughs> you can get playing with his little glass beaker. <laughs> I can't really notice it that well. But yeah, there you go. Sweet. It's for flowers. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I know it's for mixing. It's just kind of a big tube. So what kind of uh, what juices do you think you're going to experiment more with? I mean, there's got to be like a profile that you're kind of shooting for somewhat. I want to try like a strawberry custard. I want to try like I like strawberries. I like custards. I like donuts. So. My first one is gonna be like is gonna be messing with strawberries and custards. Nice. And the only thing that sucks is the waiting period because I heard custard you gotta really let it steep for a while. But hopefully I could place one of those like those pieces of glass into my um, ultrasonic cleaner and just let it kind of steep right then and there. That's mm -hmm. what I think those those glass pieces will come in really handy. Hopefully my ultrasonic cleaner doesn't end up cracking them. But well, and you're also in arm's reach of uh, the DIY king himself, Mr. Fresh. Hell yeah. Yeah, I got a lot of people uh, I can look to. Um, like I said, Addy is going to help me out, and I got Fresh, I got so many people that are willing to help me out, so. Yeah. Just going to wait on my wait on my scale and yeah. start the journey. Well, to oh, go yeah. good with you, I might even take a crack at it myself. See if it's worth it. Yeah, because it, I don't know. We get like we get so much e-liquid for review, and most of it is just I don't know. It's it just goes. It doesn't go to waste. I mean, it kind of does go to waste. I don't throw it out. I give it away. But I got like two crates of e-liquid sitting here, and it's just like most of it I just don't like, and I'm just saving it for a rainy day. Or it'd just be nice to make my own e-liquid that I know for sure I'm gonna like. Definitely. And then that's it. So much cheaper too. Yeah, that's the thing I would be looking for is the uh, the price wise, but also too I know that I don't want to make a whole lot of something that you know, like say I got the milkman which was what 180, and I'm burned out on it. Now obviously I've got the means to make other flavors, but um, I don't know. I guess you just have to really get involved with it to uh, find those few perfect flavors that you can kind of keep bouncing around with. Have you gotten any uh, exciting devices, uh, Mr. Daniel? Anything new? Uh, Daryl Daniel? You know, I was excited with the VapeMX. Since the first time I got those silicon years, and now I actually got the device, those silicon pieces, if you remember, they sent me a wrong package. That's creepy. Yeah, today I, I got it. 
who they were like who who were who were they sending those to originally? I wonder yeah. for what reason yeah. too. Yeah, and and I wonder if the 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 person that got my package, if he or she actually knows what those devices are. Yeah, like, holy shit! What's this? Is this a phone? It's a radio. Yeah. Well, what the hell happened to my elf ears? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And by the strange chance, if they do wear elf ears, there there's a good chance they probably vape too. They just got hooked up on a pretty decent device for free, so. Mm. Um, I know I've got I've got the new iStick coming in uh, for review, and I'm kind of kind of curious to see how that one's going to go. Have you got that yet, uh, Daryl? No, no, I, I, I'm I'm debating whether or not the hundred watt ice stick. Yeah, the two C one, and supposedly they just put. Uh, I think Mark said that they just put a new update out on it yesterday. So good. I'm that glad I didn't good. get it yet because <laughs> I'm gonna wait. Yeah. No, I don't have that. I have. Uh, I did. I think STU connected me with um, Freemax. Mm -hmm. Sent me uh, two of these Scylla tanks. I'm vaping yep. the uh, RBA on this thing. Have you tried this yet? I've got both of mine sitting here. I have not used them yet. Uh, did you try the ceramic coil I, that came with them? I did. It reminded me exactly of the Ceramicus, and I think it is the Ceramicus by the name. But um, the RBA on this thing is pretty beast mode. Really? Is it, uh, is it fairly easy to build on, or is it uh, like a tight... It's uh yeah it's a pretty it's a two post design it's a pretty big deck and then uh, it comes pre built with two stacked coils I don't know if you can see those are they're one on top of each other and then you can remove the topmost two little pins so you could go single coil or then double stack on top and all I did was wick it and I'm vaping on it. it's great nice and if y'all are seeing that people that's the black and this is I've got one right here that. Here's the stainless version. So, pretty nice presentation on packing, too. There's the uh, the RBA section. I haven't even used it yet. Look at the size of that thing. That sucker is... Look at does this. It un does it un unscrew? No, it pulls on right off. Oh, there on we go. On which one? Oh, but, but ER RBA section has a black barrel? Yes. Yeah, and this one has a black barrel because I got a black one. With oh, the okay. Nice. Pretty nice looking. Looks yep. easy to build on. I don't have autofocus on, so it's blurry. Yeah, but it's uh, it's pretty cool. Um, and then if you only want to go single coil, you just unscrew like the 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 two top. They like double stack up, so you wow. just remove that. It's pretty nifty. Yeah, the way they the, the way they built that that looks <laughs> that looks hard as hell. Ah, it looks, it looks cool though. Come on, you can do that. <laughs> That's easy. Daryl's a king at that stuff, so it ain't yeah, nothing yeah. to him. I'm really not. I just I will spend like two days straight fucking around with something until I get it right, and then I'll do a video and make it look good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna be breaking into those here pretty soon. Um, you, you know what? I had a chance to play around with some was oh, what's Daniel holding up? I just took the VPMX apart. Oh, why do you oh, gotta do that? Gosh. Why are you tearing stuff up? Because, there, because I got it today, so <laughs> that, that, that's yeah. what I do. Yeah. So it there, there's the the front of the board, the screen. And here is the back of the board, and they scratch the surface of the component, so you cannot, so you can't figure out which components why, they use. Why do they Why do they do that? For for cloning reasons or for what reason? I don't know. You don't know? It's just for the fact that now you can't recognize which controller they are using. And that, I noticed with that board, like I haven't seen that menu or chip in any other device. Have you? Like if it's no. totally new, right? Yeah. Yeah. No, it's a good job. Well, leave it to Daniel. It always seems like he always gets his product in the day of the show, which works out pretty good. We'll get to see him strip it down before he actually does the video on it. So, 
Here's it apart. I took a device apart. Hold on. Yeah, you did. I'm proud of myself, too. And it's still apart, isn't it? No, I can't, <laughs> I, can't get, I can't get the buttons to... The firing switch and the power button are fine, but the wattage up and down are kind of jammed. And what so device like, would that be? This would be the, uh, the ohm wrecker. <laughs> so, you just, so you just wrecked the ohm wrecker. Yeah. So i got to take it back apart. Either that or I'll just bring it to, to Daniel in Detroit and let him do it. <laughs> That's right, because you were putting that back together last Saturday night when we were live going to do the uh, burn test on there, right? Yeah, I was taking it apart because Mooch and uh, who else was in the room? Pegasus. They wanted to know like the chip, like the numbers on the chip and shit like that, but there were mm -hmm. no numbers on it. Yeah, they, they also scratched the surface. Yeah, the so there's got to be a reason why they people do that. Like, they scratch the numbers off the chips. Yep. So anyone can recognize. It's like scratching the serial number off your car. Like, you know, get pulled over by a cop, and notice the serial number's missing. Yep. Why scratch a serial number off? I don't know. <laughs> it's stolen. Um, yeah, folks, we're on the countdown. I'm seeing a lot out there in chat. We are definitely on the countdown for Detroit. Uh, Hell yeah. We're, what, in about two weeks? Or a little over two weeks from being there? Hell uh, yeah. So, and the crowd keeps growing. That's going. So, uh, going to be a lot of people there. So, definitely go check that out. That is March 4th, 5th, and 6th. It's like we have a Chicagoan in the, uh, in the crowd. Really? Right on vapes, yes. I will be going to Vape Bash this year. I go every year. So it's being it's held at the same place too. I think this year too. So pretty nice hotel. Oh, good. Now you got some company. You were you were saying that nobody you knew was going to be yeah. there. Now now you got some. There we go. Can we, um, Chi Town Vapes? Can we be, be friends? I need a friend to go there with. <laughs> Mark really doesn't have friends other than the computer screens. Yeah, so. my friends are all across the world. I don't have any in Chicago. <laughs> uh. If you want to be his friend, I will give you his phone number and address. You can go by the house. He will put you <laughs> with him. He'll even make a few videos if you yep. want. So. We can have dinner and we can hang out, hold hands, and do all yeah. kinds of crazy shit together. Just don't stay for after dinner because things get a little vile there. So Definitely uh, don't sleep over because yeah, things get messy. They do that. So... So, Mark, have you had anything new show up this week since you've always got crap showing up? I don't. Um, I got nothing really. Everything's kind of coming this week because China just got back to their new year. I got the um, the limited edition Lava Box DNA 200 uh, that I'm giving away on my that. channel. Nice. You guys want to chance to win this badass looking thing, head over to my channel. I did a, a video on the uh, lemon custard, which is really good, and I'm giving this away. And the reason why I'm giving this away, they actually sent this to a few people, like, here, you know, this is for you to enjoy. And I noticed Mike was giving his away, so I'm like, son of a bitch, now i got to give mine away. <laughs> and you want to really enjoy it, don't you? Yeah, because I love black and red, my favorite colors. But since he decided to give his away, i got to give mine away. So, yeah, I'm giving that away, and... Uh, nothing really else that came in. I got a shitload of e-liquid, like tons of e-liquid. Yeah. But er everything else, China just got back on schedule, so I'm getting the new uh, E-Fusion Mini. I'm getting the, um, I don't know, a bunch of other stuff. The E-Fusion e Mini looks really nice, but I noticed in a few photos, it kind of worries me that it looks exactly like this device right here. Oh uh, shit! Like the box and everything, but I know, I know, uh, Lost Vape doesn't do like they don't copy other people's shit. But everything looks like from the photos, everything looks the same. So I'll see if there's gonna be, if there's a difference when it arrives. I'm real curious to see that final cut version of the new, uh, what is it, the Sigilli touchscreen? Yeah, I got the sample of that, and, and it's awesome. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, oh, you muted yourself. Oh, did I? Yeah. Oh my God. There we go. 
By the way, um, people, if you want the chance to try to win that lava box, you need to go check his video out and comment on that. I've commented probably about 30 times, so I'm hoping I'm going to get my shot. So. One comment only. If you comment multiple times, you're disqualified. Uh, and the uh, vape bash is actually in St. Charles, Illinois, not in Chicago. So they just say Chicago just because Chicago is right next to St. Charles, kind of. So that way, if it's in St. Charles, it avoids all the uh, the taxes and fees. Because it's not in Cook County, it's not in Chicago, so there's no, there's none of the Cook County or Chicago taxes on e-liquid. Thank God. Mm -hmm. Other than that, I don't think I got anything. Everything I got has been kind of reviewed already. I mean, or I showed it last week. Yeah. Yeah, because, uh, and the e juice is definitely starting to roll in. I've yeah. started to get numerous emails on folks wanting e juice reviewed. So, uh, all these new companies are coming out with like really low price e liquid, I've noticed lately. Yeah. It's kind of cool. Yes. And just to give y'all a heads up, uh, like I said, after this show goes off, uh, at 11.30, me and Fagan are going to be doing a live show again. It'll be a live review on the Four Foggers E-Juice. So, Which looks uh, like that. There we go. So stay tuned for that. Uh -huh. hey, it comes with money on the label? Hell yeah. Yep. It's yep. a Benjamin. Nice. Uh, it's supposed to actually feel like money on there, but uh, my fingers are kind of rough and all that, and I'm not quite feeling all that, but... It kind of feels like, I mean, I guess... I think it's raised just a little, or something like that. Yeah, it is a little bit, kind of feel like... Yeah. So to give y'all just a little quick peek oh, yeah. we'll be reviewing, these are what they come in, these are the 120 mil bottles, this is... Washington, that's the name of this one. So, pretty little nice design there. And like I said, this is the 120 mil. So, I figured it'd be fun to do like a kind of dual juice review with somebody since we both have the same juice. We could try it out at the same time and mm -hmm. we can both give our opinion on it, see if you hate it, I hate it, whatever, rather than just yeah. doing it by ourselves. Because juice reviews are boring as hell to do, so... If you could do them with somebody, make it a little bit more interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. So that will be coming at 11.30 today, so be prepared for that. I know Brian did his last night. Me and Mark thought we were going to be the first ones out the gate with it, but Brian <laughs> snuck his in last night at all. So, uh, Brian's just trying to get ahead of Mike, that's all. Yeah. <laughs> Mike, Mike will be out. I'm surprised Mike's not out today, but, you know, I don't know what Mike's up to. By the way, let me give Mike Bapes a shout-out. Uh, he just hit over his 40000 on subs. Congrats to him. Congrats. Uh, uh, he's doing a big giveaway, so go check his channel out, see what you got to do to get involved in that. And I say congrats to him. He will also be in Detroit, so that will be a good one to see. Uh, Everyone and, will be in Detroit. This is put it, that way. And basically, that's the way it's turned into. So it is going to be awesome. Like I said, me and Mark really hung out face to face, but uh, as long as I've known Daryl, we've never actually met face to face. So that'll be cool. Never got to meet Daniel yet, so that'll be awesome. And a whole lot of the other ones too. So they'll be like I said, like Mark said, everybody's going to be there. Is the box from the uh, Four Foggers in the shape of the Washington Monument? Yes, it is. There you go. Yes, it is. I threw my box down, so I wasn't sure. I find that packaging very appealing because I like money. Yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised I didn't contact you, Daryl. Uh, I mean, really, I am surprised. But they'll... After they see this, I'm certain because I know they got to be watching. Look at Peg. Peg is wanting you to shout out his booth at the freaking VPX. 
Pegasus will be there uh, <laughs> selling his batteries. And if you mention coupon code, uh, what's the coupon code? I forgot. <laughs> Uh, 10 Pegasus Batteries Venting, you'll get 10% off your purchase. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Nice. And uh, Peg, just like we talked earlier, uh, since I, we hooked you up here, I will be expecting that <laughs> ship of the free batteries in. So <laughs> nice doing business with you. <laughs> uh any other good things going on out in the Viking community? Hmm, I don't think so. It's been a boring week. Or it's not even a week. It's only yeah. two, I can't get used to this whole Tuesday. Or today's Wednesday, never mind. Wednesday, yeah. See, Thursday, normally uh, everything's like in my brain, but Wednesday is yeah. too soon. Um, yeah, I did. Uh, James Scullion up in, Scott, uh, up in Ireland sent me a link to the um, article on that Sweden thing. Just a quick brief mention because it is in, important. Uh, the Swedish Administrative Court, this is from February 17th, uh, so that's today, I guess, um, deemed that, uh, that, that e-cigarettes are not medicine. So that uh, it's a huge win for consumer-driven tobacco harm reduction and freedom of choice. There we go. I can't nice. post the link. Sorry. I tried, but... No, that's kind of uh, the Google thing again. Oh, folks, I want to apologize, too. I think we've been doing this kind of on a lot of these shows, but I, I'd still like to keep throwing this out. Google's been doing some crazy stuff here lately, so if you're watching us on the replay, the, the quality of the videos are just getting nasty looking, so apologize for that. That is not our doing. That is a Google thing going on, so uh, used to we used to have real good quality on videos, and now they just look like crap on the replays. So, no, in, in my case, it's just me. I'm not beautiful at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness! Is <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh, uh, um. Y'all doing anything special tomorrow night, Mark, on the vape team that you know uh, of? I don't think so. Brian doesn't tell me anything. He leaves me like, he never tells me nothing. Only him and Mike know what's going on. I, I just find out at the very last minute. <laughs> I think because I'm so new, he doesn't tell me anything, just because I won't tell anyone. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, Maybe he actually doesn't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he knows. <laughs> I don't think there's anything. I don't know. I could be wrong. I know we're doing some crazy ass giveaways on the vape team on Thursday. Oh, sweet! Because last week we were we were trying to up big boy each other and doing mm -hmm. like giveaway after giveaway after giveaway. So there's gonna be some crazy shit. And I think I'll be giving away a bag of uh of uh Cooper plus skins, a whole bag of them. Wow. That was sitting in the back of my closet. Hold on, I think I got them over here. Wow. So if you have just one, you definitely want to win that, so you can just have... Oh, look at that. There we go. I'll be giving this entire bag away to somebody, and you don't have to own a Cooper Plus to, uh, oh, to win this bag. I think there's like 20 in here. I just forgot to send them out when I was sending out the Cooper Pluses for the giveaway, so... I don't know, maybe you can sell them on eBay for a dollar each or something. No, I think you need to get back, get back to those people that one exactly. your Cooper Plus oh, and so one to each one. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you squeeze those into an envelope, it should only cost you like one postage stamp. Yeah. To get them. <laughs> so everybody that's won. Uh, no, 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 no. Just contact me. I get emails. Can I get one of those? <laughs> oh goodness. Yeah. So Wait, check uh, check out the vape team on Thursday if you guys want to win that bag. <laughs> Definitely. So one lucky winner is going to receive all of those. Yeah, and then that winner really? can send them all out to people if they want. <laughs> or they could do a giveaway for all of them and just give them away again. Because <laughs> yeah, when, when they sent me the, the 20 Cooper Pluses and I did the giveaways, I forgot where the, the things were. I couldn't find the, the skins anywhere. 
And then I was cleaning out my closet the uh, last week, and I'm like, holy shit, here's the bag of skins. <laughs> so and like, believe me, we had the pleasure of watching him clean his closet out because he kind of turned his camera over there, and we went live when this was going on. And, <laughs> you know, he's got a ton of crap in that closet. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's filled with shit. There's even a wedding dress in there, too. At the very oh, top, there's a wedding dress. You ought to do that in a video. <laughs> that would be pretty nice. So. Oh, man. So, Daryl, you got anything coming up here that you want to tell folks about? Uh, any special reviews? Any good product coming you know of? Um, I'm just catching up on stuff. SMY is going to send me out the touch screen because the one they sent me wasn't working. But uh, I showed them a video of it, and they sent me another one. I asked them to send me another an upgraded DNA 200. If uh, we'll see how much they love me. But other than that, like you know, nothing nothing major, nothing special. The Bellis and the Evic Mini. I got to do a review on that. Smoke products. I did some reviews, and I'm just every couple of days putting a new one out. Um, just catching up on a lot of stuff. I fell behind for a few weeks. Um, and then I do want to mention Connecticut. I know we're all going to Detroit, um, but then two weeks later there's a big push for Connecticut, uh, Foxwood Casino Show. And um, a bunch of us are going to that. We rented a house. Dirty's going to be there, Phenom. Um, I'm pretty sure Mike Vapes and Brian are going to that as well. A mm -hmm. um, bunch of folks. That should be a good show. Um, there's something going on in Paris that weekend. There's a vape show. So a lot of the bigger companies pulled out and then decided to go to Paris instead. So, But Foxwood should still be uh, huge. I think the main sponsor there is going to be Ruthless Ejus. Um, should be a good time. Nice. All right, guys. Well, we are going to stay on track with what we've been doing. Uh, I think the hour show has been a pretty good thing. Uh, everything seems to be flowing a little bit better with the new changes here. And like I said, I apologize for the different day this week, but uh, everybody has worked with me on this and allowed me to pull it off on a Wednesday. So, of course, next week we will return back to the Thursday, 10 a.m. more. But uh, we're going to wrap things up. Uh, <laughs> Andrew yeah. and Kenny just got in the room and the oh. show's ending. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. By the way, uh, yeah, what's up, Andrew? Uh, make sure you all go check his show out this evening. Uh, what time? Andrew starts at 8 o'clock Central? I think it's 8 Central, yeah. Yeah, I'm always working, but I'm actually off, so I'll get to, I can sit back and watch the show tonight. So, uh, but yeah, definitely go check. Uh, never heard of them. Check your show out, and then go check out the bait team tomorrow night with Mark and Brian and Mike. So we're going to wrap this up and get out of here. Um, like I said, I will be pulling off a disappearing act for a few days, so I will not be on with Mark on Sunday night, which he's probably happy as he can be. So y'all yeah, won't see my faces probably till next week sometime, but I appreciate y'all coming out to watch the show today. Let's start off with Daniel and go down the line and get out of here. So take it away, Daniel. Uh, oh, shit. I'm Daniel, DJLSB Vibes. Uh, go check out my website, also djlsbvibes.com. Uh, and bye. <laughs> Stay sexy. <laughs> take it away, Daryl. I wasn't prepared, sorry. I'm <laughs> Bye, guys. Good to see everybody on here. Daryl Shergan, Quest for Vape. Sweet. Mark. Thanks for having me on. Uh, I'll see everyone tonight. I'll see everyone Thursday, and I'll see everyone Sunday. And since ST's not going to be on the show Sunday, um, if anyone out there has any ideas of who can take his spot on Sunday, send me an email. If you guys want to see anyone in particular, uh, send me an email. Let me know who you want to see on the show to replace ST for that day. I want to see Rip Trippers. <laughs> I'll need a couple thousand dollars to make that happen, but if anybody wants to contribute, we can get a GoFundMe account going and get Rip Trippers on the show. But other than Rip Trippers, if anybody wants to see anybody on the show Sunday, uh, send me an email. Other than that, I'll see you guys in about a half hour when we do the live juice review. That's right. 11.30, my channel, live review for the full foggers. Uh, 
All right, folks, we're out of here. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Uh, love y'all. We're out Let's get a vape and roll. All right, folks. Bye. Bye. Peace. Bye, folks.